Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Manurial TV. I'm Matthew Miller, your host here, and welcome to this lovely country called New Zealand, which will become a communist nation because our doing re-election. <laughs> yes. So, what we're actually showing here. From Brave Company there, there are New Zealand COVID tracing cards. Check out that symbol. Um, <laughs> you can see what it's like, got a little eye in there and a triangle there. And it's, it's all like the eye of that new lighty symbol there. So, well, let's go and cover some more of that. Yeah, that COVID cars, let's go and see that there. And yeah, then say Bluetooth COVID-19 tra uh, contact tracing car trials launch. So it has been launched since October, so a week ago and a Bluetooth power COVID-19 tracing car has been on trial at a small suburb of Rotorua in the hopes that technology will roll out across vulnerable communities. Well, <coughs> well, I don't think it's going to be <laughs> it's going to be for everyone though. They're going to tell us that. Oh, now you're going to have to have COVID cards. And also around between 500 and and 1,500 people from, yeah, I can't really pronounce the name, are being sought to participate for the trial, which will involve wearing a small next yard or belt card for a week and providing feedback on the experience. Wow, people, wow. And the trial has been going underway, well, just a week ago. So, well, people, and they say, oh, this is a community for having, uh, this is an alternative for having the contact trace on my phone. I don't have one on my phone, and I'm never planning to get one. So, if Ashley Broomfield trying to tell me to have one, though, he can just shove out his anal. <laughs> <It's anal. laughs> uh. <laughs> Artist, whoop whoop. <laughs> uh, yeah, so let's move on to the next one here. Yeah, COVID 19 New Zealand's low number in the saliva test trials. Well, we we're gonna la do that one later on. So yeah, of course for Mayo New Zealand, the locals can apply to become COVID card guinea pigs. From today in Rotorua, can apply to take part or make up the trial of the contact tracing cards. So once it really goes to plan, it'll soon be rolled out. Well, and they're working like such at parties or Busy gear so it's like so they can track you wherever they go, wherever you are. <laughs> Government papers here, Bluetooth technology can s smuggle to measure distance, which may confuse close and casual contacts. Wow. Yeah, well, from my point of view, I don't actually even trust those things. Reason why they want because they want to track wherever you go, and they will say, Oh, we're not tracking you. They will lie in the, they, they will lie in their face. Yes. And of course there, and we're going to be watching that soon here. Mm. 
Man, good grief. Cause then no people ain't gonna just have it that smart for him. I have all phones that does not support the contact trace that well and people who do have smartphones they just don't like me I don't even have one on and I don't even plan to have one then they're gonna try to say oh maybe we're gonna send you a COVID card <laughs> uh, people can sign online and register in person tomorrow to Sunday and November 8th at various locations so that's two days away wow and I'm gonna watch this video there.
Oh, I didn't realize I had my mic off though, and since that there, and yeah, the poop part the church testing for the COVID-19 was out across New Zealand, oh, good grief here. <coughs> well, people, I do apologize for not having my mic off, I forgot to turn it on there, and yeah, of course, there's a boss of Morris there. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, put British backs into lockdown. They know that lockdown is caused more harm than good. And Britain is no longer a free country. Yeah, he called that Home Secretary will order police to stop protesters involving more than two people. Of course, there's always going to be more than two people in protests. Well, because then they say, oh, we don't want people protesting against it well let's go back to here yeah eight percent people that's over in the uk and i think in new zealand we had about like 12 percent drop in our gdp so we're worse off we are actually worse than what britain are gonna be facing hope he does become mayor Cause man, he's going. Yeah, he says. Yeah, they say Brian for mayor at London. Man, I hope he makes a good mayor, and I just hope he will become that that mayor. And of course, over New Zealand, we got like yeah, quarantine cancer. So I had spoke about it before, and I do have a YouTube about though, and that's been getting a lot of views, and man, but also a lot of flack and tell me say, oh, there's no. COVID camps, they go hotels, same thing, hotels are being used as quarantine camps, so, as isolation facilities, so, same thing, <laughs> don't tell you all, there's no isolation facility in this gym, <laughs> for crying out loud, when people just stop living in denial in New Zealand and just start looking at the big picture, and people, we can actually sort of stop washing their crap and all that might go away. But people keep washing their crap because they're brainwashed, stupid enough to believe in their BS. Well, people, I'm going to... But which... Oh, I still want to... Which... There we go. Making sure that doesn't come on automatically. <laughs> well, there's that Bloomfield, that Muppet, <laughs> which I'm going to get to that Muppet though. Now, I'm going to check on that US election. Now, of course, over in the US election, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on there. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff going on there, and yet, yeah, it says updated. Military ballots are found in the trash. In Pennsylvania, most were Trump votes. Just, just to know that there's been some fraud going on. For crying out loud, people, it's just disgusting. What they're trying to do to get Biden in, although, he's, although the majority don't want him to win, although they want Trump to win, even people in Nigeria love Trump and they also want him to win, though, and of course, though. <laughs> And the people in Haiti, they do like Trump, but they don't like Clinton. No, and... And I ain't gonna wash this. This is from Brave Company there, and I ain't gonna wash this and see what this is going on. And this is from Twitter there, and... Just wondering... Yeah, because... Yeah, what we say about the New Zealand election, I think it is rigged, just to be sure it goes in Labour's favour or something, something's been planned, I'm not too sure about it though, but there's been rumours about it though, but I'm not too sure about it, so let's just watch it and see what he's got to say. <clears throat> I 
Oh, it's this guy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. You can say that word. That's my word. I was going to say crazy. Cause this lot of crazy. I've been watching on the um, Millie, uh, the millennial. Man. Millie, yeah, millennial Millie. And man. Oh, man. They've been covering up. There is a lot of crazy stuff going on in the election, though. And. Boy. Now, of course, the mainstream media is hilarious. Of course, they're all for Biden. And Tyson says that, oh, if Trump wins the second term, blame white people. <laughs> really? They say, oh, blame, just blame white people if Trump wins. <laughs> America divide, of course it's divide. The, the Democrats, uh, they all want that. They all want to, but we're all running for Republicans. They all want freedom. They they had enough of all that crap and what's happening in the USA. They all enough. They had enough of it though, and of course, they say, "Oh, U.S. election. What if Trump won't leave?" <laughs> well, there's a lot of border fraud going on, and. Of course, the mainstream is in favor of, of Biden. Biden's an absolute. You can see what happened with the hunters and that though, his photos was like released or something in that though. Oh boy, I actually had watched it, I heard about boy. And the Chinese were not pleased about it. the Chinese government were not pleased about it because. The Chinese government want Biden in. They really want Biden in. To be their puppet. Because so China can just take over. Yeah, because China, they're always hungry for more power. They've been fishing the ocean though. And they just tell us, say that. And they've been dumping all the plastic waste to tell us. They still using plastic. And, and China's for like the heavy use on plastic as well. So... And they've been playing like crazy, but but they tell us to stop. They, they tell us to change our ways, but they won't go to China and tell them to stop. It's just tell it's all a fraud. It's all a scam, man. I ain't going to watch a bit in front of this Muppet Ashley Bloomfield. <laughs> Bloomfield on sickness and I do a good test of positive. <laughs> Yeah, what well, they say nurses for the urgent review of the health of COVID-19 isolation hotels, which they are called, which they are also quarantine camps because uh, being run saying they become increasingly anxious and fearful after a second hotel worker tested positive. Of course you're going to be, because you're being fearful. And there's that Muppet, Dr. Ashley Boomfield, really. He says that, well, Boomfield says many other people are really keen to have a good break over Christmas and New Year's. In a sense, in our own hands, it was the first lockdown, it was our collective effort to lead such success. Oh. <laughs> To wreck our economy, to undermine it, it has went down by like 12, 
Yeah, it has decreased by over 12.2 GDP or 12.4 GDP or something. To maintain our position when we do not take one for the things we have under level ones. Well, when people we do take our things for granted and of course we enjoy them. And we should be thankful for our freedoms, but we gotta <clears throat> but people with that another with, with are there be another three years of that if there's ever gonna be another election. They tell us they all the best things to tell to keep us safe. <laughs> Let's go back in there again. <laughs> it being a significant job, people recording their own movements. <laughs> Well, pin me, I don't have a contact tracer and I don't actually use it, I don't sign in or anything though. And I do it anyway if I, I do anyway if I can get away with as well. So people, man, <laughs> I don't sign in or anything though. Used to be when we were in like level 2 or something though, but I don't sign in or anything though if I can get away with it though. And One time a cafeteria told me he had that like to sign on something which I didn't do <laughs> which I'm not going to anyway I <laughs> say <laughs> 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 oh just keep scanning 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 and we gotta stop the virus if you just, oh, if you just keep using the content out. Then just let us trick where you go, because we want to know where you're going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Very much breathing your own CO2 <laughs> and making sure your smile can't be seen. <laughs> This is painful. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, they want us to say, no, please come out your small. We don't want you breathing, you see, and breathing your own CO2. <laughs> oh boy, wow. Been a good podcast, people, and yes, it's been a great fun <laughs> laughter at laughing at uh, Bloomfield and Chris Hickson or something, and and uh, laughing at the health minister saying, Oh, New Zealand complacent around mask use and QR code scanning because people know what it is now, people waking up. <laughs> Yeah, people are waking up. People are starting to realise this is all a sham, all a fraud. And it's just all about tracking wherever you go. They say, oh, we don't track your movements. Well, people. Well, I think this is all I got to really say. Man, then. 
And I hope to all see you on the next podcast at New Zealand time on Friday. That will should be 8 a.m. It will be on Thursday. Depends wherever you are around the world. So if you say you're like in the UK or America, it will be on Thursday as well. So it just depends. But if you saw it like in Australia or New Zealand, it will be around like, if you're in New Zealand, it will be around like, 8 a.m. at daylight time and this is all I got to say I'm thinking about shifting it to like to 9 a.m. so if you're like running straight can still be really watching in that though and so people might move this to 9 a.m. so I might see you around to my, on next Friday 9 a.m. 9 a.m. New Zealand daylight time, and I'll see you then. This is all I gotta say for now. This is Matthew. This is the Manurial Gary. Signing off. Over and out.